Meet Jill. Her doctor told her that she is at risk for developing atherosclerosis. Jill is nervous and wants to find out more about what this means. So what exactly is atherosclerosis? Atherosclerosis is a common condition in which a fatty substance known as plaque begins to build up within arteries in the body. Arteries are blood vessels that carry oxygen and nutrients to different organs. Over time, as plaque accumulates and hardens, arteries narrow which results in restricted or blocked blood flow. This prevents oxygen from reaching different tissues in the body and can lead to serious complications such as heart attack, stroke, or death. According to the Heart and Stroke Foundation, atherosclerosis is the leading cause of death in Canada, with one in five deaths caused by the disease. Jill is wondering what can contribute to the development of this disease. Although the cause of atherosclerosis is currently unknown, certain factors may increase your risk of developing atherosclerosis. Certain characteristics such as age and family history of previous heart disease cannot be controlled. As you age, plaque can accumulate to a symptomatic level, which is why the risk of atherosclerosis increases after the age of 45 in men and 55 in women. Fortunately, the majority of risk factors can be controlled to help prevent or delay the onset of atherosclerosis. Some risk factors include smoking, an unhealthy diet, and a lack of physical activity. Another risk factor is obesity, which combined with diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol can further contribute to atherosclerosis. The more of these risk factors you have, the more likely you will be to develop atherosclerosis. Therefore, the best approach for Jill at this time is prevention through lifestyle modification. Managing your diet and level of physical activity can go a long way in reducing the risk and progression of atherosclerosis. Healthy eating habits such as consuming various fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean meats, seafood, and low-fat dairy products are important to lower plaque buildup. It is also important to avoid high-sodium meals, added sugars, solid fats, and refined grains. Daily exercise reduces several of the risks associated with atherosclerosis, such as high blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and obesity. The National Institute of Health recommends that individuals take part in at least 30 minutes a day of moderate level physical activity five days a week. Since atherosclerosis can affect any artery in the body, it can cause several secondary diseases. For example, atherosclerosis can lead to coronary heart disease and chronic kidney disease, depending on the location of the plaque buildup. Although medical treatment is available to manage atherosclerosis once it develops, prevention is the best medicine. So Jill, to reduce your risk for atherosclerosis and keep your heart and arteries healthy, make sure you are proactive in maintaining your health. For more interesting videos, please visit the Demystifying Medicine series channel.